Alright, Assalamualaikum and very good day. So today we are going to do a project of 20%. So you guys should go to VLE and uh, download this practical lab. Over here, we're going to look at the last parts of the lab. So go down all the way and then you're going to see here. Alright, so let's uh, read what the project is all about. Meanwhile, you can also download the CAD file, which is this one, Rail Assembly Carrying Tongs. And download the whole thing, download folder. Of course, you need to unzip it. Take it out of the zip. and uh, open up the file if you go here you're gonna see a couple of things so assembly is the thing that you need to open open up the assembly files So let's inspect what the project is all about. So you have a uh, rail assembly carrying tongs, which is designed to carry railways at construction site. So you need to conduct a structural analysis on the RACT to de determine the safe lifting capacity. For example, you have a safety factor of 1.2. Uh, you need to determine on your own lah what kind of material you're using for the construction of the carrying tongs uh, choose proper materials don't choose aluminum it's not gonna hold lots of weight and uh, of course uh, once you get the baseline you need to do some improvement on the design and then suggest uh, what can you do for the design that can improve the structural integrity of it if you look at certain drawings here this one I call out from uh, Australian company this is one of the part which they are using currently they are carrying rails and uh, some sort of like a clamp it has a capacity of carrying about 1.5 tons 1.5 T I think this is the uh, loading capacity in reality it looks like this lah. so this is how it looks like when you pull it it's going to clamp uh, together okay so now let's uh, check out the assembly so you have this it consists of a lot of parts and uh, it is currently carrying uh, an I-beam uh. so when you are starting your analysis you can uh, decide uh, what are your interests? What are the components that you do not need to put in your analysis? So you can decide on that. Lah. So as usual, you should go to add-ins, click on simulation. And then once simulation tab comes out, we're going to conduct new study, a static analysis. And you have all these uh, parts and components. And uh, typically, uh, you should not do for everything. Uh. So you can exclude parts that you don't need. For example, I don't need my I-beam to be here, this one. I can right click and I can do something called exclude from the analysis. Where is it? I better click here, right click here and then exclude from analysis so this thing will be removed lah. I do not need to do uh, the analysis on that I, I beam lah. what is this I beam? yeah it's gone yeah it's gone, there's no more and uh, you can decide do you need to do the analysis on these rollers 
if the if you need to do it you can include if you don't really need it you can actually exclude it roller assembly all these uh, roller assemblies is it a critical part of your assembly of your analysis if you feel it is not you can right click and uh, exclude can I exclude here no you have to exclude one by one exclude from analysis exclude so it's gone but in the model it is still there in the model you do are not removing it from the model you are only removing it from the FEA simulation uh, exclude how come I cannot do for many exclude from analysis yeah you can do for many so just uh, do analysis on the parts of your concern it doesn't in affect your 3d model so that is a good thing uh. you don't need to delete from your cat model so number one once you are doing this you need to select a proper material uh. so <coughs> most likely the proper material for this is probably steel so select the proper material so maybe you want to right click and apply material to all since we're assuming we're using the same kind of material so select proper one steel probably I'm just going to choose a plain carbon steel and uh, I have a yield strength of 220 click on apply close it so all my uh, components are carbon steel plain carbon steel next thing is very important uh, you have global contact bonded so global contact bonded is something that you want to delete because it can uh, make sh your analysis not accurate so we can uh, click on evaluate and check on interference detection and then click this one treat coincident as interference and we can click calculate so it's going to calculate what are the interferences including coincidence eh? if you remove coincidence I don't think we have any calculate nothing right no interference however if you click in uh, coincidence and recalculate you're gonna see a whole lot lah. Uh, a lot of places where things are going to get uh, bonded lah. For example, I just hinge there. It's not accurate lah if you uh, glue this uh, red color part, and it's not accurate if you glue this part here. It doesn't uh, behave that way in reality, right? So that's not the thing that you want to do. So this is why we always global contact bonded, remove it, delete. Once we remove it and we deleted it. If you go to evaluate here, it's going to show model. Eh? You got to go back to simulation. Why is it showing everything? It should be hiding certain things. Am I right? I just need to this one. Eh? Rebuild. Hmm, it is still showing. Eh? Do I need to do this again? Roller RC dah remove kan, should not be there. We have removed this. Maybe I can hide it. Yeah, it's already been removed. I suppose when you go back to model, uh, it uh, turns back on. And you recalculate certain things, just turns back on. It's no longer hidden uh, in uh, static analysis. Uh, you need to do it again, and then it will be removed from the view. Okay, so let's uh, do a couple things. Connection. Right click, you need to create pin. Uh, pin has to be from uh, different components. For example, the blue color is another component. Pink color is another component. It has to be separate component. You cannot click on a sim uh, similar component. Eh? 
it doesn't work that way so make sure you turn on uh, with key no rotation click on ok so you have got a pin however this pin is only halfway if you go back here there's nothing it's not connecting to the end of the part so it's kind of a weakness for this version of SOLIDWORKS so you need to create another one lah. another pin connecting this part with this part and uh, make sure click this one and then click on OK so you have a whole connection all, the, all together so this pin works <coughs> you have to do a uh, couple more times lah. let's repeat the process uh, here and here no rotation another part here pin here and here no rotation proceed file a pin this one to this one no rotation and pin this one to this one with no rotation so I've got three pins lah. but in reality I have to create six pins if you're using newer versions of SOLIDWORKS, it might be different. And uh, finally, it's kind of complicated here. I've got lots of things here. I can always model a physical pin if I wanted to. For example, <coughs> I can assemble an actual pin. Where is my pin? Roller RC is like total everything together. Uh. If I created a physical pin, I can always use contact. Uh, it will always be bonding the whole thing together. Le. If I want to do that, I can also do that. Uh. Otherwise, I can just use pin. However, I need to create multiple instances of pins. Uh. Kalau kamu nak pakai uh, component je, senang lagi. Eh. Boleh, uh, connection, contact set aja. Contact set pakai inilah, bonded. <coughs> Tapi <coughs> Pin is not so bad lah. Right click Pin No rotation Connecting this thing To uh, this part Okay one is done Right click Pin Here to here no rotation if you notice uh, clearly I've got pin where is my uh, here can I cannot see anything no I can't I can't see anything if you really take a look at my pins uh, I only have two one to the left let me show you guys clearly from the front right I've got this pin on my right side and I've got one pin on the left side so two pins lah however the middle part is not connected <laughs> so that is wrong uh. left right is connected left is connected right is connected but the middle part is not connected so you need to create one more pin otherwise you're gonna see that this middle part is not connecting eh? how do I do that I can hide uh, this pin this pin and this pin I can right click and hide it for a while so that I can access the middle part right click pin make sure you select the uh, correct one eh? first, second, third lah. third ni yang not connected Click this one. It should be connected to okay the middle part. 
Maybe I can join here. No rotation. Only then I've created a middle pin. Now I've got a pin connecting the whole uh, section. Lah. One, two, three. Kind. Uh, otherwise, you just uh, draw a physical pin and join it. So I'm done on uh, my connectors. Next will be my loading, external load, click on force. Obviously, the pins are holding it together. This one place, two, three, four. These four locations are. And I need to click uh, select the direction, uh, something vertical, probably this one. It's going up, I gotta reverse it. For example, I'm, I'm modeling it to a thousand ton. Uh, no, no, one ton, a thousand kilo. 9.81. You can decide lah what is your safe working load. Do a proper one. So click on OK, and I've got all my loadings there. And finally, I can probably mesh, create mesh. Uh, it looks good, doesn't have any problem. I can look at my mesh quality, 96%. I suppose I can run this thing now. Did I put any fixture? No, I didn't put any fixture. So it failed. So fixtures, you need to hold it. Fixed geometry, probably it's going to be here. Lah. And finally click on run. So everything is, uh, is it behaving properly? You, you should check. Uh. Edit definition. Mega Pascal. General. Discrete. Mesh. Okay, and uh, I'm getting really high values here. 1.36 E3. Why is it so high? Uh? Obviously, it cannot handle. Obviously, it cannot handle uh, a thousand kilo. <laughs> so change. Edit definition. How come it cannot handle a thousand kilo? 1300 lebih ni. Where is it? Hmm. Never mind. 1364. Let's uh, change the highest scale maybe to 500 and see what happens. Obviously. Ah, uh, see. There's a problem here. My stresses are not uh, identical. Uh. My pin is not connecting properly. You have to do another pin connection, otherwise it will not behave properly. It is not uh, connected to the left hand side. No wonder. Okay. You need one more connector. Right click. Uh, pin. But you gotta check, ah. Uh, where is the pin? You need left. How do I go back to model, eh? I don't wanna see this. I just click mesh, and then I click show mesh, lah, code. Show mesh. Oh, I'm looking at here. Pin 7 here. Pin 8 there. Pin 9. Pin 9 is connecting this. So I need to do one more. One more pin. Connecting the middle part. Middle part is this one? No. 
middle part is this part okay and connecting to this part no rotation click on ok hopefully it is smooth run again mm, now i don't see any funny deformation at the center here and my deformation is symmetrical left and right is the same i don't get too high stress but it's my maximum stress edit definition click on chart option and show max maximum is only about 813 813 over there so obviously try to beat try to do some modification that can improve this condition uh. and uh, one thing you notice uh, all other components are fine all other components are okay only this particular top component only is problematic if you notice something like this you can actually remesh the critical component what is this part called? it's called part atas 2-1 so part atas 2-1 we can right click and we can remesh right we are only interested in this one because this one is problematic I can improve the mesh sizing and I click create mesh so you will mesh the component even more better you will get better results averaging here if I want not uh, still not satisfied I can uh, remesh again click it again create mesh <coughs> where are the rest of the meshes show mesh mm, create mesh ah see the rest are components are mm. using similar mesh and the uh, critical ones are much much finer and i can always run again the analysis i might see some uh, changing uh, in my maximum results for example it's not it's some 800 something right currently is 709 so if you refine your mesh uh, size mesh density you're going to see significant change in accuracy currently is 709 so this is the baseline you can set this as a baseline of your model and i need you to do an improvement lah. obviously we have a problem with this part only why is it so maybe it's too thin compared to the rest of the components so how do you improve this part go back to model and you want to uh, do some changes you can right click click on open do you want to proceed with feature recognition no need no need so this is the part lah if you do any changes here it will reflect to the main assembly for example i want to do i gotta go to features lah eh? features maybe why i want to add some material right click here sketch control 8 uh, i can add some material offset entities is a good i think eh? offset offset not 10 mm uh, 5 too much offset offset i don't know eh do a proper one and yeah, maybe you can offset another one here set another one here currently i have that now click on ok so i have a sketch i have a 
taken the part lah in order for me to be able to extrude I need to make this profile close so I need to use convert entities I want to click this one this one this one this one oh I can select the whole thing eh I don't want to do that lah convert entities car one two three four five and then click OK so I have a sketch lah I need to close the uh, profile here to here finally another line here to here so I've got a sketch and then I can exit my sketch and I can extrude lah. or if I'm getting something like this meaning my my sketch is not good lah. my sketch is not closed so I gotta edit my sketch what's wrong with my sketch I gotta delete certain things trim entities Maybe certain thing has been done. Eh? Sometimes you select twice. Therefore, it doesn't happen. Uh, line. Don't follow my design. You can do your own. Convert entities. Let's try again. Extrude. Obviously, you gotta click sketch first and then extrude. Ah, currently it's like that lah. I can uh, reverse. Blind, I can change to up to surface. What surface? Up to this surface. Just in case. Ah, I've got a hole covered already, so that's wrong. So that's not a good idea lah. You gotta change that. But I just wanna show that if you go back to your simulation, don't go back to simulation eh, go here. Window, go back to your main assembly. Everything will be reflected again. Even your static analysis can be reflected. And if I'm lucky, I don't get anything, any errors. I can just click run again. Obviously, this uh, design change is not a good design because it's not logical. But you can see that you can quickly do modification and you don't need to reconfigure your FEA. What is my higher stress right now? Maximum annotation, I don't see anything. Maximum, kat bawah ni pula. The middle part lah, is, is having problem. You can click auto lah. Auto yang ni kot. This component ni. It's taking all the load. So you don't have a problem with this anymore. Lah, since I thicken it too much. Okay, so you get the point. You can uh, do modification on component. And it will be updated back again. And uh, do and redo. Don't follow my modification. You can uh, use your own. And then reflect that uh, in your reports. Okay, so that's it.